Can you hear us? I like this energy. Oh no, a double whammy. What? I even, I felt that. <laughs> Welcome back, gay schools and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The, the Hard Bandwagon. bandwagon. Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for heart analysis. Criticism. And spooky. Okay. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And welcome back to another Charmed Reaction. Today we are covering season four, episodes 15 and 16. I can't believe season four is already almost over. Yeah. I mean, we still have a handful of episodes, but still, season four is here, and then we're officially halfway done with the entire series. Yep. Ah, I can't believe it. Now things are getting super juicy right now because Cole is being taken over by the source. Yeah. So now pretty much Cole is the source. And I'm wondering how that's going to go. Oh, it's definitely going to be great. It's Everyone's gonna be gonna be great. going to be great. Uh, Phoebe will fall in love with the source. And um, and then the source will be part of the family. Yay. <laughs> but before we get started, y'all know what to do. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon where you will find full episode watch songs of every episode of Trend that we've covered so far. And if you just can't wait for next week's episode, we're a week ahead over on Patreon, so go check it out. Or you can click the join button below to join our YouTube membership. And with all that being said, without further ado and the power of three, let's get into it. <laughs> okay, ding dong. <gasps> Piper, did you check on the... Oh, wow, we're really getting married. Yep. Oh, these weddings always happen so fast. And the rice. Rice. Oh my God, no, do no, we no, need no. rice? We can't throw oh. rice. Okay. Why not? Well, because the birds can't digest it and they will blow up. Okay, that's good to know. I'm pretty sure that that's a myth anyway, but still. What do you mean? How could you forget my dress the day before the wedding? The bridal shop is closed tomorrow. Relax, it's open tonight. I'm planning on picking it up on my way to the rehearsal dinner. Also, I mean, it's not like Paige can't just orb in. That's fair. Money will be the worst possible thing that could happen. It'll keep you from ever reigning as the source. I can't be right. Oh, so we can't get married. A son. A so son? son Excuse me? More than a son. You and Phoebe Hollowell will produce the most powerful child imaginable. What? How will you get her to marry you in the dark way? What do I need for that? Yeah. A dark priest to perform the ceremony. Of course. An evil priest. All my hope is gone. Yes, Darryl. more Daryl, more Daryl. I mean, yeah, I'd be surprised if she he wouldn't show up to her Phoebe's wedding, you know? But if the source comes to mess up our wedding, I will vanquish his ass. Oh my God, imagine. Gentlemen, I chose to stand by me on the most important day of my life because, uh, well, they're the only ones I know. <laughs> That's fair. Don't golf. Hey, I'll take them. Oh, they got my name on it. I feel like that's a <laughs> gift you find at Kohl's. This is so great. Tarot cards. My deck is totally trash. This is perfect. That's a good gift. I love it. Mm -hmm. Great. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, isn't that always the way? It looks really pretty. Oh. I like that his way of messing it up being like, it is several sizes larger and for a milli, meaning that Paige would mess up. So it looks yes, bad on her. Of course. I feel like I'm standing at the edge of a cliff right now. You do? Is that scary? The scary moment? You have no idea how difficult you're making this for me. I do. Those are two things that I would definitely like for you to say the night before our wedding is you're, you're making, making this, this very, very difficult, difficult for me. <laughs> and no, I am not okay. It kind of <laughs> sounds like he has cold feet. It's a lonely calling these days. I haven't seen a human soul in my collection plate in months. I'll be sure to make a donation. <laughs> okay, girl. Power in the history of magic. And you'll be the hand that rocks his cradle. Once I get rid of his mother. Oh. <gasps> yes. Oh, what a plan. Tell the new source I live 
to serve him. Coolio? Coolio? <laughs> Hello! What a early, late 90s, early 2000s reference. I don't know yet. I've been too busy to try it on. Well, when you do, I want you to picture me taking it off. <gasps> oh my god! Now the uh, key to the mini bar there, would you? <laughs> <laughs> I like Daryl have a good good time. He deserves it. Mm -hmm. It's their future. Yes. Oh, please. This looks nothing like death. Prue met him. I know. No, you're missing oh. the point. <laughs> okay, that is true. That is very true. You. Oh. You ruined my wedding. And the bridal shop is closed tomorrow. Now, uh, Phoebe. I'm sure we could do some magic to make it fit. No personal gain. Ah, shit. Oh. Okay. Damn. Nice my man didn't even have any lines. Resurrected? Oh. There he is. Fuck. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh wow. Too bad for Leo. I think so, yeah. Uh, he's going to be back. The book says that Lazarus demons get stronger the longer they are out of cemetery ground. Of course. Readings, Phoebe. They both said that marrying Cole would only cause death and despair. Is there anything else bothering you, Paige, that I should know about? No, not really. The thing is, though, Paige is being right here. Her instincts are right. Did she tell you to kill my fiance? The source before you would have rewarded me for killing one of those witches. Oh. We need a creature that can lure your witch into the cemetery. But a Lazarus demon. The witches must believe they're under attack for your plan to work. She's not wrong. Cole's voice used to scream inside my head. Now it's just a whisper. Oh, no. We can use his feelings to control her. Cole, can you hear us? I'm really sorry about your wedding dress. I want everything to go so great for you tomorrow. Mm. It's okay. I mean, I'm just glad that she's invited. I mean, mm -hmm. she she just joined the family. <laughs> Crash through the front door on a Harley. Yeah. <laughs> Only Prue could make my wedding day all about her. <laughs> that was Prue. Invocatio mm Pagana. -hmm. Come on, you come on, you can do it. <gasps> Don't fall asleep. Oh my god! Oh, this is it's now irking me. But it's yeah. like I love that Cole as the source is just doing some petty shit. Yeah. Petty little shit. Yeah. Like hee hee hee. <gasps> oh no. Paige! Oh no, oh no. I mean, imagine us waking up at eleven on our wedding day. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did not! Those are all natural ingredients. If you had something to say to me, why didn't you just say it? <laughs> My dream is I caused the scene to be unseen. Magic. She just magic on me. Oh! My fists are gone. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> My wedding is supposed to start in less than one hour, and everyone I've ever known is going to be there. And I'm never going to be able to face them again. Uh, it's, it's, it's okay. We'll figure it out. Phoebe? That was me. I'm working on my impressions. There you go. Dad, go downstairs and wait for us there. See? <laughs> <laughs> it's talent. This episode is going to cause me to have nightmares about our wedding day. It is. I'm going to wake up in the middle of the night and be like, babe! Dean, I guess. Yeah, but there wasn't any of that when I used it to help others. Why Phoebe? What, are you suggesting that there is outside True. magic at play here? <gasps> we head to the church while we look for a way to fix Phoebe. Are you with me? Yes. Phoebe, grab the book. Let's go. Good, 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 good. I like this energy. Where are the girls? Phoebe needs to talk to you in the dressing room. <laughs> it's bad luck for the groom to see the bride before the wedding. I don't I, think that that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. You're invisible? Yeah. Looks like whatever demon's trying to stop our wedding succeeded. Uh, Is that what you want, Cole? The wedding's off. Not necessarily. Get everybody in their positions. I'm liking that Paige is kind of like the the want to get in his way a little bit. You mean transfer the invisibility to you? No way. I won't let you. Phoebe, 
every Cinderella needs a fairy godmother. Let me be yours. Oh, oh that's so nice. No, no, no. She's ruining everything. Also, is this the same church that Faith and Buffy fought in? This looks exactly I think it might same. be. In my chambers awaiting your command. Order him to attack. The girls will stop the ceremony to save innocent lives. Oh, you bastard. You're bastard. Now I'm talking to the source, not Cole, who is deep inside him. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> There's definitely something on the internet about that. Too. Oh, no. <laughs> Where's Paige? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to cry. <laughs> I'll check that out. Keep going. I mean, hey, that's the, the bridesmaids' jobs here, making mm -hmm. sure everything's perfect. I mean, this priest is really trying to be like, are you sure? Nobody? <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Oh. <laughs> okay, it's rough. Oh, it's rough. It's, it's rough. Stop! <laughs> oh. Because he ordered him to. Have you? Did you guys see that? That's it. The wedding is off. Tell everyone to get out of here. Go, 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 go. Oh no. Lucky the demon hesitated when Cole yelled. Yeah, but why did he? Maybe he was surprised somebody yelled at him. <laughs> he yelled at me. <laughs> I'll go with him. I want to okay. make sure it's in the ground for good. Good. So I'll do it. Ha <laughs> ha! Cole. I have an idea. Why don't we just ask it? That Lazarus demon is a time bomb waiting to explode. No, I want to know who ruined the happiest day of my life. <gasps> okay, okay, we're onto something. We're onto something. Come on, I want his plan spoiled. One flinch, and I blow you into briquettes. <laughs> who resurrected you? Ask him. Oh. <gasps> 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 Okay, Cole, what is going on? Because I gotta tell you right now, I am freaking out. I'm freaking out too. I'm freaking out too. It can't be. No. Yeah, this is not the ticket. <gasps> what? You evolve into a much stronger witch. Too strong. I had to stop you. And no, I did. That's bullshit. I mean, we know it's bullshit. But also, we know that that's how the source does the. Oh, shit. She's too good at this. She's too good. Who's this here? She's the cemetery. Yeah, we know. We had a little chat. I'm surprised she didn't kill you. But well, when did he have the time to be off or be taken out? Come on, guys. It's cute. And perfect. For what? A wedding. But well, wasn't he trying to stop the stop the wedding in the beginning? That's the whole point of this. But they needed to stop the wedding so they could be married in a cemetery. Oh fuck! It, it by a dark priest. Shit! Because he needed to drink her blood. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Love two but one till life be gone. <laughs> it is done. Damn it. Oh my god. Uh -huh. Oh my god. All right, guys. So that was our reaction to Charm season four, episode 15, Merry Go Round. And in this episode, we had the wedding. Yay. Phoebe and Cole are married. I, I mean, yay, I guess. Because I, it, Phoebe does seem happy, but she does not know the full plans. She doesn't know what actually is happening now. Stuff like this frustrates me so much because I'm just like, come on, let's, we need to figure it out. It's kind of like the same moment where like Phoebe lied to the sisters yeah. and I was just like, no, we're keeping this giant secret. Um, I want them to catch on, but they, I like, I mean, this is, I, in my opinion, I guess like what the show wants you to feel, right? Yeah. It wants you to feel frustrated. It's, it wants you to feel many things because a lot is happening and you care about these characters. And I, I mean, I was feeling very sorry for Paige because he knew 
Paige being the like the new person involved in this family, she was the one target to be like, let's have her, you know, be the one that Phoebe gets mad at. Yeah. Um, especially with Paige kind of questioning the whole demon stuff. Even a few episodes ago, where she was just like, Well, he's still a demon, you know, like we we still gotta talk about that, and she wasn't a hundred percent convinced. Now, she doesn't know the whole story, being that like it is not Cole. Like this isn't and I think it's so tough to differentiate a little bit because for me, I'm thinking the actor is just like awful. Like, how dare you be this way? But it's not Cole, it's not that character. It's the source doing all of this stuff. Yeah. I really like this episode. I mean, I've already said, and I'll say it again. I love the seer. I think she's a queen. I am like- She's I, too good at her job. I, and, and I have so much respect for her for that. I really like, uh, I, I really like this episode, and I like that, like, there was an in-universe explanation for everything, too, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it wasn't just like, oh, things happen to go this way. Yeah. Like, you, you, I could see where there would be a chapel inside a larger mausoleum where someone may have a yeah, funeral and why, service. And, and why the, they would take the chance to go and get married in that yeah. moment. Because they're like, we can keep the date. We can still, like, you know. Mm -hmm. So I really enjoyed this episode, and I cannot wait to see what happens. I I like this episode, but it was very frustrating. Just by me, because the drama is big. There's lots yes. of revelations, lots of twists, big drops, lots drops. of mic drops. I'm just like, oh, my God. And it, it's I, I'm on the side, like, I, as you say, like, she is an icon. She is doing what she has to do mm -hmm. for herself, right? Because she has other motives. And But for me, as a first-time viewer, I'm just like, I am rooting for her downfall. I am rooting for the day that our witches can defeat this. Um, and I hope it happens. All right, guys, so you know the deal. We're going to move on to the next episode. <laughs> oh, you love what I think about. Okay, Kylie Minogue. I'm gonna go, I'm tired. Wait, you can't go yet. I like Paige. that outfit though. We haven't gotten to the good part. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought watching you guys make out all night was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would be like, let me go social mm -hmm. socialize. Oh my god. Cool. It's no big deal. It's the finest hotel in Hawaii. Where did you get the money? Am I missing something? Aren't you unemployed? How did you afford it? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Do you think uh, Cole won the lottery or something? Mm, I know I did. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm on Paige's side here. I want her to figure him out. This harvest moon will be your one chance to impregnate your wife. Moon <gasps> combined with this tonic will make her fertile to demon seed. Uh, did not like that sentence. Seed. Growing inside her will influence her own evil leanings. <gasps> so that when she does discover the truth, she will bend to your will. Oh, what? A double whammy. I am human and I need to be loved. Just like anybody else does. Oh, no, it's different with boyfriends. I don't know why, but once you're married, it's just, it's just better. You know what I mean? Oh, I love them, he like, helping each other out. Mm -hmm. It's a company car. Are you serious? Are those the company roses? Strange. He didn't last two hours at Legal Aid. Oh! <laughs> I wow. love her sass. A honeymoon? Just for tonight, what do you say? Oh, I say I need to do a little bit of shopping first, I think. What do you say, Piper? Yeah, let's go shopping. Just go law firms? Yeah, I deal with them from time to time. Jack McCarter and Klein? Hmm, haven't heard of them. Or Paige is lying and she does know them. Okay, what do you think? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not going to rely on that. And I'm not going to just sit at home while my husband works either, you know? I mean, maybe. Because she is also her own woman. Like, mm -hmm. she was anti-marriage before. Not anti-marriage, but, like, not for her. Yeah. Because, Piper, it's not about that. I have a degree in psychology that I worked really hard for. Yeah, she did. <laughs> I mean, you could have just pushed her off, like. 
Oh, what the fuck? Innocent. Uh, yeah, let's take care of her. About him, and uh, I'm gonna keep an eye on him. Period. Spying on the husband. Now that's a surefire way to reconnect with your sister. <laughs> <laughs> but she's trying to protect her, she but is. also at the same time, I also feel like she just wants to be right. I mean, in that way, she and Prue are very similar. She's yes. filling that same role Prue did. Be planning to attack. I can't afford any distractions for feet. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Cole, we have to. Uh... <laughs> She's like, what, what did you turn me into? What's wrong with her? I don't know. I had a premonition that she was being attacked by demons. Like, I don't think it was a premonition. I think it already happened. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yummy. Oh. Okay, I think it works. <laughs> oh, okay. It's it's that kind of aphrodisiac. What? What? Who attacked you? me don't touch me leave me alone oh <gasps> oh this is gonna be problematic but she what did you see girl ah! what are you doing to her yeah well i was comforting her if you haven't noticed she's just no stop letting him weasel his way out powers until they find a buyer that way thieves can't get to them a human being possessed of a demonic power will become confused. He looks kind of handsome in the photo. Oh, 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 oh. I have a family to take care of. Holy Karen, your family fuck. is okay. This is getting very dramatic. This is different. I think I saw Cole oh. use demonic. No, 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 no. There is nothing demonic about Cole. And whether you like it or not, he's your brother. And this is kind of fucked up because. Piper has gone a long way to accept Cole as yeah. Cole. And now I, I don't I don't know if it's bad for the character Cole to go through this just when he's just, you know, becoming a human. Uh, it's kind of like we're going backwards in time and starting at the beginning of season three. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got the fifty thousand dollar car. What kind of job comes with perks like that? So Cole gets a company car and that automatically makes him a demon in your eyes. <gasps> oh, oh my god oh he's not a demon anymore and he's part of this family this doesn't sound like leo yeah oh, bitch shit. i knew it i knew it she's not certain what she saw nevertheless she must die <gasps> oh a little subtlety <laughs> just like like let's chill for a second if i could get a power broker to do the same to Paige, she would oh. become unstable as well but by the time she reached breaking point her sisters will be on their honeymoons oh my god this is fucked up this yeah, is fucked this is really up. messed up if you succeed you'll be rewarded with more power than you can possibly imagine hmm. don't do it <laughs> hi i'm here on behalf of karen young she has fallen ill and tell her she's fired <gasps> Oh, no, no, no. I would hardly call the advice column news. Oh. This week's letter probably on this train wreck of a desk. Train wreck of a desk for sure. What the fuck? <laughs> <gasps> Seems like the chocolate's kicking in. Hold on, let's get some that chocolate over here. Advice column in by eight o'clock tonight. Uh-huh. So... <gasps> oh! I even I felt that. Is almost finished. After you take it, you can go anywhere you want. You're trying to poison me. You're working for that bitch Elise. I'm gonna kill her before she kills me. No. Oh, damn. He's behind you. Oh no. Paige, get her out of here. Stay away from me. Oh. Power broker, blow him up. What? Uh, where's Karen? So tell me what he he did to her. He gave her a demonic power. Got it. No, to Paige. Yes. Got it. That was the same power broker who affected Karen. Sorry, just wanted to remind myself. Mm -hmm. All that I could do against an acid-breathing innocent, you know? The acid is coming out of her hands. <laughs> Whatever. I'm on a deadline, okay? Not her just casually working for the paper. I don't understand. She can't even concentrate to be doing the potion. Yeah. Don't you fucking do shit. Don't, oh, oh my God. Oh. If the goal is to hate 
this actor, they're doing a great job. <laughs> but if remember you took when his, I was, if you took his shirt know, off and you saw the, no, the chest, he's doing a lot of damage right now. It's a good thing I was done. <laughs> Someone's coming in the door doesn't lock. Oh, that's Elise. She's coming for Karen's assignment. God, I hope she likes it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. Yeah, she's gonna be fine. Good. Where's my copy? <laughs> ha! That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should work here. Page. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, he's like torturing her. You really think Phoebe would have married me if I was a demon? Oh my god. Oh, I want him to be found out so bad. Come on. <laughs> Not the dollhouse. I know. Not the boar worms. Not the boar worms. <laughs> Only a few people will get that. There's a potion in my purse. He's evil. Paige, don't do this. Fight it. Okay. Oh! Oh! What? This is what white lighters are for. Where's the potion? It's broken. Uh, okay. Well, there's more. Guys, can we act like we care about Paige for a little bit? Well, what are we supposed to do? Just stand here and watch her die? No, 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 no. This can't be happening. Not again. Oh! <gasps> no! Your powers might not work too well down there. Cole, you don't have any powers. Cole, there's no time to argue. We're going. I keep forgetting that technically they don't know that Cole has powers, so it's yeah. always like, it's just, I have to remind myself. Cole keeps forgetting too, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Tell which jackass though, huh? So here's the deal. We'll spare your lives if you pull your skanky little power out of <laughs> <laughs> Your skanky little power. See, now that's more like it right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> enough power to do that. <laughs> <laughs> talking about her, I'm talking about Cole. He's the one threat neither one of us can control. Good. He saved Paige, not you. Yes. Okay, I'm happy Cole is taking over a little bit here. Uh -huh. Come on, Cole. Cole, if you can hear us, blink twice. I can't believe I destroyed the house. Mm. What I can't believe is what you almost saw in the hotel room. If you had gotten there five minutes... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she'll fire you then. <laughs> and my guess is she'll hire you. If you think you can handle working for that witch. <laughs> oh, fair. But it kind of makes sense because like, she, she can use her degree a little bit mm -hmm. in this. Can I? Phoebe, somebody is going to pay you to tell other people what to do. Shut up and be happy. <laughs> she didn't go demonic on us. She went demonic on Cole. <gasps> Phoebe's oh. bringing it down. I just don't trust him. I don't know why I feel that way. I just. These are the same words that Prue said. I don't trust him. I just want to watch the next two episodes. I just want to like keep going. We can't because I can need. All our plans I and... need to know that he gets caught. <laughs> all right, guys. So that was our reaction to Charm season four, episode sixteen, the fifth Hallowell. Now, what are your thoughts of the episode? I thought that this was a really interesting episode because we got to see Phoebe. Phoebe. We got to see Paige start to act on her on her feelings about cole and mm -hmm. her suspicions and then we get to see we get to see cole the source cole mm. we got to see him like really just terrorize her which i did not enjoy watching but i thought that it was like really well acted and written and oh my gosh mm -hmm. i we've said this before about every actress who plays his sister but my god rose mcgowan like really dug deep and got emotional in this absolutely. episode. It was hard to watch because you just like fell for her. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I I really love what they're doing at this point. It's it's frustrating 
Don't get me wrong, but I mean, I think it's effective. Yeah. I think to be able to do this twist, it's kind of reminding me of the time in Buffy where like Angel started to be a dick. Yeah. And um, I had a similar feelings. So I'm like feeling that in that in this moment, it's frustrating that they're not getting it. But I mean, not every episode, they're not, they're gonna be able to win, you know? Sometimes you have to prolong this. So like when finally something happens and hoping it does, um, it'll feel satisfactory, you know? But I agree, performances are great. Um, I like that Cole, the actor, can really get back into the, the swing of things, but also give us something different than what original evil Cole gave. Yeah. It's, this is the source evil. So I'm glad he was able to give us something different at the same time. Um, and again, like he's doing just like petty shit, but it's getting even more dangerous as it goes along. I do love the idea that Cole himself is still inside him mm -hmm. and is is trying to save the sisters at the same time. So, and the seer is now catching on to this. So hopefully they don't do some shit where like they have to defeat Cole inside him and it's gone forever. So, um, and it's it's really sad at the end. I I understand the frustration that Phoebe is going through. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to feel because like Piper used to be the middle child yeah. and was able to kind of balance out and keep everyone together. But being that Phoebe is the one who's the middle child now and trying to balance things, but she's not, she's still, she, she's, she's focusing on, on herself a little bit, which is fair. Uh, but now Piper, I kind of want Piper to come back to be the middle child, to be like able to look at both sides, you know, but yeah. Piper seems to be siding with Phoebe on this and, and sticking by her guns and you know what, good, good for her. But we as an audience member know that Cole, something is bad, is something bad is happening to Cole Yeah, and they're choosing not to believe her. And I feel like after all these years, I think Phoebe and Piper should be able to take someone's worries and concerns to some degree of seriousness like to some degree of like let's invest in yeah but i don't know because at the same time like like both of them especially piper mm -hmm. had, took a long time and had to go through a lot before they could accept and trust cole yeah so i think that they are like at this point they have they've had to suppress some of those like doubts and so it, it kind of makes sense why they would be like, no, he's fine. Like, he's good. He's proved it to us. Why are you so worried about it? But we even had like a whole episode where it was focused on Paige having these feelings of like, I'm, I'm not sure of something. Like, I feel like there's some evil. Mm -hmm. And at the end of that, we were like, we need to trust each other more. And Paige is doing that now. It's like, I'm feeling some things but the sisters are still not fully like trusting her on that. Um, so I, I feel bad. It's very complicated all around. And I love that the show is able to give us some complicated feelings here. Yeah. But the matter of the fact is, is that something is bad with Cole and we need to figure that out and stop it before evil spawn comes comes knocking which they didn't succeed he did oh no no did he yes he did because oh no re remember what she said she said if you had been there five minutes earlier oh, you would have seen some stuff damn okay so he did end up, so is she just gonna be pregnant in the next episode how how um fast is this pregnancy oh no oh no but she got a job Yay. <laughs> All right, guys. So you know what to do. Comment down below. Let us know what you thought about these two episodes. As usual, make sure that you're keeping that spoiler free. And in, in my gut, it feels like this is very, could possibly be spoiler heavy. So please, we're asking you so, so nicely to keep the comments spoiler free as much as you can. We want to find out everything that happens when we're watching it and not in the comments. So that's anything leading into. I want to be a surprise when we press play. And as usual, we want to thank our Patreon members. Thank you so much for each and every single Patreon member over there. And we appreciate your support and love. If you want to be part of the Patreon gang, go over to patreon.com slash the hard bandwagon. Benefits start at $3 and up. And will you see that we are ahead a couple episodes and in full length reactions in picture in picture. And if you want to unlock exclusive emotes and members only lives and watch longs, you can click the join button below to join our YouTube membership. Big thank you to those YouTube members and those who are YouTube members and Patreon members. You guys are freaking awesome. But until next time, we have been your source for horror analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay? And sometimes kooky entertainment. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.